Yeah, it is still this morning on ITV. This is the second talking point. We'll be looking at the uh, APC, uh, of course, uh, Congress uh, across the country at the weekend. Uh, it's really coming with, you know, one would say sweet and sour. In some states, it is, you know, clean, peaceful, resort accepted, um, a uh, structure already uh, mounted and accepted. In some other states, you uh, so many controversies. Kano has two uh, uh, state chairmen emerging. Of course, uh, Oyo, we have four chairmen in Akwa Ibom State. One would just wonder, Akwa Ibom State, a state in the South South, that somehow it's supposed to be for uh, the PDP, but hey, the APC has also uh, uh, you know, have a root there, and the struggle for supremacy really are produced for uh, a state chairman. Okay, to look at this, I have with me a politician, Samuel Eke. Very good morning to you, Mr. Eke. Yeah, so how was it at the weekend? Yeah, um, election congresses are processes in every political party to find the leadership that would uh, pilot the affairs of the party. And the APC uh, has done favorably well in the past few months and few weeks since the world congresses, local government congresses, and on Saturday we had the state congresses. I can tell anybody who cares to hear that those congresses were successful uh, rumors of uh, parallel congresses. I don't call them parallel congresses. I call them you have one congress in every state and you have gathering of a few persons, maybe naming ceremony happening somewhere or party of some people partying on a different agenda. In your opinion. But that, at, the, that, at, the, at the end of that partying and gathering, they come up with a list of uh, uh, you know, uh, leaders I would explain party. something you might not be preview to, but I would want the fourth estate of the realm to also get the information right to um, the party in the first place have the caretaker committee to conduct these congresses headed by the chairman Memala Bunu. And the Kiateka Committee have also had committees that will go to various states, seven-man committees in every state, to conduct the state congresses. And this seven-man committee, if you are not in the venue where this seven-man committee is conducting the congress, eh, and you gather yourself, and declare yourself somewhere else that is not the venue of where the party hierarchy has provided for the congresses, then automatically you were not there for the congress. You had your, your meetings somewhere outside the norms and the principle of the party. Mm. So... What really happened is that there were congresses in every state where congresses should hold and winners emerged and most of these winners, I, I think there's no much rancor anywhere apart from consensus and few places where you had elections and the uh, seven-man committee that has gone to every state eh, who will be the one to conduct and also return a winner. So when you hear parallel congresses, they w no, there's no, in my own view, there's no parallel congress anywhere. What is happening is that there was congress in the state, mm -hmm. then maybe some aggrieved people, or some persons who feels they don't have capacity to mobilize delegates who are party faithfuls and members of the party to emerge who just go somewhere and then have rented crowd or something and say okay we have all called some few journalists and say we have also then who conducted the primaries they are calling for pararecord is it the same leadership from the national definitely no yeah, but those are also APC members they are members if you are members of the APC mm -hmm. and the party have sent 
eh, mm. a seven man committee to come mm. and conduct primaries. Why not but go there? A member, uh, a member of a party is supposed to abide by the rules, rules of, and the party. Of, of the party. Of the party. Yeah. So what is happening with the APC? No. What has happened is, is politics. I tell you, people have uh, diverse uh, views, uh, different interests. Uh, politics has rules. No, people have different uh, mindset. People have different mindset when it comes to the game of politics. It has its interests. Eh? Some people think, oh, since we cannot, we are not popular enough to win, eh? can we just... And definitely, the party will take a certain decision, and the party have said it, that they will not allow anybody to factionalize the party. And with that principle, there is no way you can declare yourself, you can conduct Congress for yourself and declare yourself the winner. There's no way. So uh, there's no parallel Congress anywhere. The only recognized Congress of the party is c Congresses conducted by Memala Bunu under the leadership of Memala Bunu and also under the leadership of the committee sent to various states to if conduct. If you have them. a faction or par parallel Congresses, you know, by members of the same party. Yeah. Even the directive from the national, I mean, from the headquarters, yeah. uh, you know, clearly states that it must be done in the presence of the committee. The, uh, the monitoring and committee. I think, yeah. So, and um, we have these prior congresses. It, does that not spell doom for the party? No, it doesn't. The people are looking for relevance. Why don't you look for relevance within that? Well, within, that, that is that the subject. problem. That is pro the problem. People are looking for unnecessary, undue relevance. If you know you're popular enough, go to the field. Mm -hmm. yeah? But people just feel, oh, I don't have the capacity to go to the field. Mm -hmm. I watched something about Enugu. I was watching uh, one of the television stations, and uh, they said somebody has only four votes. And that same person caused trouble. I said, yes, that's the issue. Eh? Such person might now decide and go and gather a few persons somewhere and say, oh, I am now the winner. Believing that he will go to court eh? and uh, undermine the leadership of the party. But let me give you a very a simple example. In uh, Imo State, when Rochas was the governor of Imo State and the party sent a committee to conduct a primaries for gubernatorial election. If you can remember what transpired then, the committee conducted the primaries and returned Senator Hoop Uzodima, who is the present governor, as the winner of that primaries. The governor conducted his own primaries and returned Uchengusu as the candidate of the party, believing there is parallel Congress in Imo. But at the end of the day, eh, the committee is only the thing the national no, the national body of the party understands. You cannot just go and conduct a primary for yourself and declare yourself a winner. And at the end of the day, the court has vindicated everybody and today, hope is the winner. So, if people are trying to cause uh, fracas here and there, just allow them time would uh, take its course since they are members of the party they are not going anywhere mm. they will finally align they are just looking for relevance what if they are most um the party has mechanism mm. in dealing with anything that is coming up presently in the party mm. you see if you're not satisfied with the process mm. there's an appeal committee you can appeal and seek redress. In every Congress they have uh, conducted in the last few months, a few weeks or so. But if you have decided not to be part of the Congress, you have decided not to appeal, you have decided not to be part of the process, eh? and you want to seek for undue relevance eh? and make noise, you are not helping yourself as a politician you're not helping the political party and i believe the political party will take some certain actions to prevent others 
from doing such in the near future. You know, politics is about number. Yes. And if the May Malabuni has been going up and down to woo people into the party, yeah. uh, we saw how he brought Devu Mahi to the party, mm. how he brought Matawale to the party, mm. and of course, uh, and many others. Senators, you know, members, senators, House of Reps. Even the popular FFK yeah. uh, to the party. If he is gathering and somebody is scattering, what is the hope? I, what is the hope I, I, for, so for, for, PD, for APC in 2023? Let, let, let me give you another example. He is gathering, so uh, people are scattering. No, the people scattering are irrelevant. Mm. That's what you think. Let me tell you why they are irrelevant. Mm. A man who cannot win his word mm. eh, mm. in his state. Mm. Eh, we tell you his creating faction. Yeah, but he, but he, but his vote will add to your number. Yes, but ah. let me give you an example. Let's use Quara, mm. where you have the Minister of Information mm -hmm. and the governor, the, the governor of the people of Quara State, mm -hmm. elected governor and most popular governor of Quara, mm -hmm. the with the old Toge slogan. Mm -hmm. The governor mm -hmm. is on ground. Mm -hmm. The governor have the support of virtually every politician that is a stakeholder in Kwara. He has done things uprightly. Mm. And you have a minister, mm. <laughs> one, he doesn't reside in Kwara, but he's holding a ministerial slot. Um, perhaps, I didn't give handouts. He, he, he's holding a, I, I don't want to talk of handout. Uh -huh. You're holding a position for the people you don't even go to. You are not living there. To your son, is living where you are living, which is Lagos, who is a state house of assembly member. You politically, you are a Lagosian. And you now you come because you have privilege to be friends of the, you're a friend of the media. You sit down, you keep making noise. There is this, the governor has not carried you along. This, that, because the governor is a perfect gentleman who don't talk much. Eh? Knowing fully well that the man making noise Eh, cannot win his word. And who cannot win his word now? The minister cannot win his word. So was he not instrumental to even the auto? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Let me tell you. He has been there in the APC before the governor came in. Am I right? Mm -hmm. He couldn't defeat the Bukola Saraki's team mm -hmm. until the governor came in. And took over the structure of the supported party. by him can i tell you something why don't he support himself in 2015 why didn't the party it was bukola structure that remained when bukola left and the governor took over the structure the governor because he's a popular person he has been around he has always been in 2019 in 2019 the yeah. governor came in with the slogan and the winning uh, strategy and they won the election yeah but this same man we're talking about is among the founding fathers of of the apc yes we from, saw the, from, from, the fireworks hold on, for the APC. hold on from apc hold on, he, write can i tell you something he without, is without this, he is this nobody's man. nobody is uh, arguing that mm. nobody is disputing that fact mm. but he is from lagos so you should not cause problem in a state where you are not on the ground on the ground he is he's a commissioner in lagos he has done all his political career in lagos so he is from lagos he's a perfect man in lagos but if you're perfect in lagos don't come to quara and cause chaos mm. uh, but it's just so funny how so that how, is the kind no, of no, no, that, no, it's just so funny how at times, politicians tend to forget those that actually help them. To no, 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 no. Can I tell you because something? You cannot, can, can remove, I, can you I, cannot remove can I tell you his, his influence. Can I tell you, can I tell you to, something? To get movement. Hold on. Can I tell you something? Eh? What you see sometimes on the pages of newspaper and on TV is not the reality on ground. So it is a reality based on what was the information also, sometimes provided. No, based on, on the, the information, information provided. provided but i can tell you the governor has been on ground he has been a member of the cpc until bukola came into the apc 
he left. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Bukola now left the APC. He came back home and took over the structure. He has a structure. The minister have no structure. Are you the spokesperson for the governor? No, but I am telling you, that is my view. Mm. Mm? So these do are the kind... Do you stay in Kwara State? Hold on, I stay in Abuja, but this, yeah. these so, are the kind of... So your info... Oh, your info no, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Can, 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 so, 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 uh, Hold on, uh, let, these are the kind of uh, people in various states. Eh? Some of them are not up to minister. Some of them are nobody. Some of them have no influence in their state. Some of them have no influence in the political party. These are the kind of persons going here and there eh, to cause the word parallel. There's no parallel Congress anywhere in APC. The Congress conducted by the seven-man committee in every state mm. is actually the Congress of APC. Any other thing mm, is a gathering of a few no, having the no, 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 Take a look at Akwaibom. Yeah. Where about four national, I mean, state chairmen emerged. Okay. One, of course, will see the light of the day. The remaining three uh, definitely will not fly. For now, Th thank God you know now, they will no, not fly. No, that's it now. Mm -hmm. For now, we do not know which will fly mm -hmm. and which will not. Mm -hmm. So, but if you have three, but can I explain something? If you have three mm -hmm. that maybe by legal pronouncement in court or by the party rules and regulation, they are not recognized, mm -hmm. what do you think will happen to the strength of the APC can I, can I say something? come 2023 in that state? Can I tell you something? There's only one Congress conducted. No doubt about it. In, in uh, no Akwa Ibom. No, nobody mm. is, nobody is, uh, the is party, if that. you know you have grievances and you know you're a member of APC, eh? we have a reconciliation committee headed by the former governor of Natara State, Abdullah Adam. Eh? If you know you have any issue, that committee, be rest assured, eh? That committee can reconcile you. Government is a very large. Tumbingiwani, if it is uh, uh, the people mm -hmm. from Kanu, it can take everybody. The party can accommodate everybody. So, um, you have purported gathering of people outside the actual Congress that took place in, uh, in Akwaibom State. I know some persons will appeal, and the appeal committee will do the needful, and the reconciliation committee will do the needful. I tell you, some people are only seeking for relevance. If they don't make such noise, eh, they feel nobody will remember them. And some people who would insist, who would not um, use every available means within the party to resolve issues, the party will know what to do about it. Mm. Be rest assured, this is a party who have won a lot. A lot of people are coming in. Nobody is ready to leave the party. That's one thing I want you to know. Mm. Even the people causing all these uh, fracas here and there, they are not ready to leave. They want to be involved. And they are doing everything to be involved. Mm. So it's politics. And, and so it's interesting and it's making the party stronger. Yeah, so for the APC, is it about taking power uh, about putting food on the table it's about governance mm. and uh, making nigeria mm. a better place from where the party met it mm. in 2015 as in nigeria yes nigeria uh, as a nation make it better better than where they met it in 2015 mm. and the party have not fared mm. badly i will tell you, you think so yes i'll tell you we met a lot of uh, unfinished uh, project mm -hmm. that should have been done and completed in 16 years mm -hmm. of the previous administration mm -hmm. we met most of these projects knowing fully well if you still allow those former people they might do it for the next 32 years and these projects will not be completed in a short while most of these projects have been completed. Mm -hmm. Most are 90% or 95% completed. 
most of it uh, we are celebrating them today mm -hmm. then um, when you talk of um, the common man on the street mm -hmm. a lot of common people in Nigeria for the first time mm -hmm. have had personal touch personal feeling with governance today it's only this government I will keep saying it mm -hmm. it's only this government that has brought a transparent process called empower for over 400 nigerian youths who are graduate mm. without having influence of any kind mm. in government without knowing anybody it's only this government eh, that have brought in um not just a lot of packages in the social investment scheme the trade money the farmers money um there's one uh for agriculture the agricultural loan and cause borrowers program that a lot of farmers mm. eh, they have benefited they are part of the process the process have grown the economy of the farming industry in nigeria let me give you an example if they tell any nigerian in 2014 mm. that we all will be eating local rice mm. today the Nigerian will tell you it's a light. No okay, possible. now can we look at it in reality? Yeah. I'd allow you to, you know, <laughs> tell us what the APC met and and where those things are now. But the reality is that when they were coming, how much was a sizable loaf of bread? How much was fifty kg of rice? How much was 12 kg of cooking gas? How much was, you know, transport fare, you know, by road from Abuja to Lagos, from Abuja to Kano? It has, it has been the same. How much? Let me explain. How Not much? of transport fare. How much mm. was cost of renting a one-bedroom flat? How much was, you know, you know, direct, they call it direct, direct benjo, eh? mm. to Kumboka, how much? Let me explain. So, uh, so, 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 so you just tell us the reality uh, and uh, tell uh, us what happened. Uh, uh, I, I have, I have uh, not uh, given you, uh, I'll give I have you. not given you how much those things uh, are. No, no. Nigerians are watching. Uh, uh, Anything you say, they say, ah, uh, 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 So, in reality, now, see, in reality, I'll, let's, I'll give you let's look at, let's look at holistically. This, in reality. Oh, see, I'll break down these things holistically. Mm. Before this government came in, land let's start with bread. No, I want no, to start no, no, with the no, housing. No, 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 no okay, I want to start okay, the one that affects us here. Okay, housing. Yes. Okay, housing. Before this government came in, there's a lot of, um, will I call it, uh, illicit funds everywhere mm. and. Uh, speculators in the mm -hmm. business of it. No, oh, no, 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 I no, 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 I won't see, let me go to housing because no, no, I know see, rent. No, rent see, has not no, increased. See, see, Rather, no, landlords, no, no, see, landlords no, have reduced no, rent. No, see, I just want us to no. just quickly <laughs> do, you know, um, Rent. No, if you no, come to no, rent, it no, has not no, increased. See, I, I, but I want, I know where you're heading to. Let me talk, let me talk about that. see, see, since I just wanted to see, because if you have okay. said there are businesses that we have done mm. okay let, let, me, exp let me explain these businesses let, let are me now explain. completed hold on let me explain are, are hold on let, let me explain but that's what i'm asking now let, let me explain you you, you, you want to talk about the common man no it's but, not it's not even about the common man you want to talk about the, the economy generally the, yes okay let me explain because because the common man can only build in a 50 by uh, 50 by 50 100 by 100 at most um, the high and mighty they get hectares to build but you know the funny thing is that is the same market they're going to buy a bag of cement yeah. how much was a bag of cement l how much l let me explain now? now we are we are running an import based economy mm. virtually everything mm. before now mm. was imported mm -hmm. Eh? and that are we not still importing them no let me explain mm. and that affected our economy mm. badly so mm. what has exchange changed? rate a exchange rate mm. actually will go high because everything you get mm. goes back to the international market mm. but the government eh, 
being a, a visionary government eh, is revising that that Nigeria we used to know as an import mm. nation. We are now growing from an importing nation to an no, exporting if, one. If, let, no, let, no, no, if you, you, say, say, if you say reversing, yeah. if you are reversing, mm. are, you, are, you, are you supposed to go forward and supposed to come back? No, let me explain. Let me explain. So you are going forward. No, no, let me explain. Like the policies. No, and no, then no, no, no that's forward. not true. The, the, the policies of this government mm. eh, might not be yielding physical result mm. immediately. Mm. But in the long run, mm. in the long run, mm. eh, Nigerians will celebrate President Muhammad Buhari and his team mm. eh, for taking some certain decisions that mm. we felt, oh, we are suffering it today, mm. eh, but it's only a process of building a better nation. Mm. If you're building a house, mm. before that house mm. becomes a livable environment, mm. you start by toiling, a foundation that's the foundation they are laying mm. you lay the foundation you build the structure you start thinking of roofing it it's a process in that process people are suffering you're suffering to build it until you get to the finishing stage mm. furnish it that's when someone wow this house is beautiful mm. so what the government is doing is to rewrite the wrongs mm. of the past and build a solid foundation for our nation so and make so, Nigeria a better so place. So what you are saying now is that a time will come whereby a bag of rice will be 8,500 again? It, yes. Is it, that what you are saying? Yes. A time will come. Uh, when will that be? It has started. Let me tell you why it has mm. started. Eh? At a point, a bag of rice was 30-something thousand. Mm. As I speak to you, mm. a bag of rice is 22,000 naira. Mm. At oh. a point in this country. From which market? Let's go to Garki. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not taking you to any other market. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm telling you, I buy. I buy. And you well, have, you have. See, and let how, me. And how many kg? Let, I, I went to Kano. How many kg? Tw Fifty kg bag of rice. Um, uh, anyway. No, 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 no. Let's I'm not. See, see let's not, except, let's, except you let's, have let's, other places no, where. You, no, you, no, if no, you doubt no, it. No, if you say it was thirty-two and now twenty-two, two, yes. you have hope. That it will come down. It is to coming down. Yes, it is coming down. Well, let's, it uh, is coming let's, down. A let's, lot of rice meal. Let's, let's hope that it will be. Safe. Yes, a lot of rice mm. meal has mm. springed up in Kano, mm. Niger, mm. Eh? Mm. and other places, mm. Ebony, mm. Anambra, mm. and so on. Nigerians have seen that it is even more profitable mm. eh? to be in, into farming. You make more money. Yeah, than even doing some certain business. Okay, I must thank you, um, Samuel Eke, for your time with us on the program this morning. Uh, we actually moved <laughs> from, of course, uh, looking at the congresses held at the weekend and the reality, uh, you know, as it affects the Nigerian people, the economy, the prices of items uh, really going up. You know, you know, one would say geometrically <laughs> i must thank you for your time it was on the program okay this much we we have we'll take a quick break when we come back the program continues <laughs>